How to get alcohol fuel when the world is dead, gas pumps are dry, and your only ride runs on fumes. The highways are graveyards, gas stations guarded by lunatics with crossbows, and the last drop of gasoline evaporated sometime last winter. But you still need fire, warmth, maybe even to run that rusty generator that screams louder than you do. Solution? We're cooking booze, but not for drinking. Start by scavenging sugar. Anything sweet, rotting fruit, spilled soda, honey packets looted from a diner. Dump it in water, let it rot. Congratulations, you've just invented fermentation. Yeast eats sugar, spits out alcohol. Don't thank it, it's disgusting. Next, find a pot, pan, maybe an old kettle. Heat that rotten juice. Steam rises, alcohol boils first. Catch the vapor in some kind of pipe, copper, steel, or a bent car radiator if you're desperate. Cool it down in water, collect the drips. Boom, ethanol. If it burns, you did it right. If it blinds you, you did it wrong. Don't drink this unless you enjoy sudden death. Science check. Alcohol boils at 78 degrees cells lower than water, so you're separating liquid fire from swamp juice. That fire, now it's fuel. For cooking, for fire starting, for survival, for chaos.